Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Steve from Shock Extreme Productions as well as Shock Extreme 1 on YouTube and welcome back to Body Bags. Thank you once again for joining us and happy belated Halloween. Hope everybody had a great Halloween, safe Halloween. I sure as hell did. Um, and I'm recording this in between now and actually going to FearCon, so I have to speed this up a little bit, but I believe this is week 60 right now in Body Bags and the theme for this week is Halloween week. When it comes to Halloween movies, there really isn't a lot of movies actually revolving around Halloween. You know, you have, of course, Halloween, but that really doesn't talk much about Halloween unless you talk about Halloween 3 Season of the Witch or Halloween 6 The Curse of Michael Myers. Other than that, not much besides movies like Trick or Treat or any of the Halloween night movies, either made by the Plony Brothers or The Asylum. So this one was a little bit more difficult for me. There's a little glare right here. I'll move myself out of the way. This was a little bit harder for me because there really isn't that much. So I had to dig deep and figure out what there was that actually takes place on Halloween. Then I found one that I actually seen years ago from my youth. Uh, I believe this is one that it's not that great of a movie, but it has some sentimental uh, value to me because it was given to me at a time where yeah, I'm not going to go into it but let's just say I just had surgery then and it kind of made me feel a little bit better. This is actually one of R.L. Stein's stories, surprisingly not a goosebump story, but this one is The Haunting Hour. Um, subtitle is Don't Think, Don't Think About It, that's what it is. Uh, the Haunting Hour, Don't Think About It from 2007. This one was part of The Haunting Hour. TV series produced by R.L. Stein, uh, but this was the most uh, famous out of them, I believe, because it starred um, Emily Osment. Uh, this one is basically about a girl and her family. They move to town. The girl's kind of an outcast because she is, you know, a goth. She really doesn't like to uh, socialize with too many people. Um, so, and she's having a tough time at home, you know, she has to do all this stuff for her parents, you know, her little brother's a pain in the ass like typical. So one day she goes for a walk and finds this Halloween store and the owner, played by Tobin Bell, is basically telling her all this stuff that happens to her that she already knows about. So she's already getting like a little freaked out by this one guy. She sa he tells her, you know, I noticed you like to read. Um, I have a book just for you. So he gives her this book and as soon as she opens the book, all this weird stuff starts happening. Then eventually on Halloween, her little brother wants her to read it. And the book obviously says, uh, don't read aloud. She reads it aloud. And at the end of the book, they say, it won't happen unless you don't think about it. And what do you think happens? They think about it. And what ends up happening from there is it summons this beast who I believe was three-headed, I'm not sure, and it basically stalks and eats these um, kids in the town, and her as well as this other guy in her class has to figure out a way to stop it. Now, that's well ended from there. My thoughts, you know, it is cheesy, it's made for, you know, like young teens, early teens, so uh, for somebody like, you know, any of us, it wouldn't really appeal that attracting. But from when I've seen it, I usually still watch it every once in a while. So it's not too bad. You know, the acting, you know, they're professional actors, you know, mainly Disney Channel actors, but not too bad overall, especially for Tobin Bell being uh, the store owner. Uh, let's see. The effects? Eh, you get a little slime, spit action, nothing too big there, so you can't really go from there. Story was actually pretty cool. I did dig the story. Um, if I had to give it a rating, I would probably rate this at at least a 7 out of 10. Not too bad. I'd give it a watch. It's on DVD. I think they show it on TV sometimes. But if you can find it, definitely give it a look. So, alright guys, that was my review for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, sorry I had to speed it up a little bit, but I have to get ready for FearCon. So, if you like these reviews, definitely subscribe to Body Bags, like, comment, share, whatever you guys do. If you like my reviews in particular, definitely go to my channel, Shock Extreme 1. Link will be in the description below. Uh, once again, my name is Steve from Shock Extreme Productions, and until next time, see you all later.